Yo, what's up guys, it's me, Brandon Johnson from Gizmo TV, and I'm about to show you a beautiful 2003 Crownline 230 DP friggin' Fountain. channels make a lot of boating videos whether well, i'm showing you boats i have for sale here at harlem marine where i work taking you out and showing you how to work them doing a lot of how-to videos where we clean fix replace repair certain items on boats as well as taking you out with my family to do some water sports and fishing if you feel like we could help entertain or you could benefit by joining us on our journey please consider subscribing by clicking down below we've almost reached our goal of a thousand subscribers we're this close my kids don't think i can do it so if you can help me i really appreciate it Let's get started looking at this boat. Just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Now it's time for the butt seat test. The butt seat test, right in the boat, how much room there is for your friends and family's butts. Oh my god. Becky, look at her butt. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So you can usually put five in the sole of the boat, which is the cockpit floor. Six, seven at the captain shares, and this boat's got a huge bow. I say seven? Seven, seven. Eight, nine, and because of leg room, 10, 11. 10 and 11 right there. Now this boat is rated for 12 people. Uh, if you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, in the link below down in the description, I'll include a video which explains that if you're interested. Now let's look at the gel coat condition of this bow gal. off by looking at the gel coat so first off it's got the great big swim platform bravo 3 drive with trim tabs the scad skag has been worked but the shaft alignment was excellent so the swim platform covers up the propellers it's only trimmed this high right now because it's in the trailer position you would never have it trimmed up that high while boating or you did something very wrong or the boat just won't go it won't go in the water so this is a very sharp deep v a lot of people get the 230s confused even i do when i'm out like sailing boats with the 270 crown line so it's so tall deep and sharp it's a great boat for any waterway whether it's you know lake of the ozarks or it's rough as heck or just a small lake like a mark twain for example so as you can see it's kind of common sense why it rides so good look how sharp this baby is stems in great shape dropping down looking at the keel lifting strikes and reverse chine everything's wonderful there throughout all right, whole side, port side, rub rail's nice. Sorry, I kind of got these covers thrown up here. They just covered it up and I said, hey guys, I want to make a video, but here she is. So one thing that I would do if it were my boat, you know, here at Heart Marine, we inspect, check, clean, and correct the boats to sell before we sell them. If it were me, I'd want these graphics off, but everybody's different. I just think it would look very clean without those. Okay, here's a couple small little scuffs that have been kind of wet sanded out right through here. Adding a little gel coat probably wouldn't hurt. Easy fix if you want it done. So let's jump inside and take a look at the interior. Again, we look at the big swim platform. We got storage back here. Like in some brochure pictures, they'll have drinks in it. I don't know how. It's a better place for empty beer cans. Root beer cans, that is. If you don't get the extended swim platform from the factory, the lottery would have went there. So it's a great place to put dock lines. So you have a starboard side walkthrough transom giving way to a cockpit that has tons of freeboard. I'll go out on a limb here and say this is probably the deepest interior of any 23 foot bow rider on the market today. So we have our dual battery switch right down here at the walkthrough, it makes it nice because you don't have to fight and fumble to find it. Uh, that rhymes, that should be a wrapper, just kidding. That's a cooler or a great dry storage spot. box because you can put a cooler right in here. 13 core Igloo Marine Cooler fits right in. Take a look at the motor. A lot of these just have five liters. This has a 350 mag MPI, 300 horse, 390 hours. Dual batteries with a switch. Since it's got trim tabs, there's the trim pump back there, the red thing. There's the tilt and trim pump. Water tank. Now, I had a guy look at this. As soon as we got it, it just came in. We hadn't cleaned it uh, and asked what's going on back here. That's just a, a cheap paint that goes over the fiberglass. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with the fiberglass. Just that paint comes off. No big deal. Doesn't hurt anything but your feelings when you look at it. Uh, right here we got more storage lots of cup holders this boat would be a great example for the top 10 inexpensive do-it-yourself upgrades i'll include a link in the description down below because it's just a little bit of inexpensive stuff you can add 
This boat would look really awesome and it'd look really new because they made this model all the way till 07, although they changed the name to a 236LS. All the gauges look great. You can read all the rocker switches. It's not all faded. It's got a CD stereo, fire extinguisher right there. Ski storage on the floor. Maybe. And that's big and deep. You can put a lot of stuff in there. Taking a look at the head, capless chair and the port side chair both have flip-up bolsters, slide and swivel. There's our table. Uh, windscreen, if we get cut out in the rain. I don't know why you need a carbon monoxide detector in there, but it's good and batteries are good. Uh, window, toilet paper holder sink, all the good stuff. Uh, very thick and heavy windshield frame. You know, sign of a high quality boat. It's got upgraded pull-up speakers. I got those too. And my fishing boat. Dry storage box above the helm, very deep bow. Like if you've got kids that want to run out, run up here, get on their knees and look out. I mean, this is what you should feel comfortable with them doing so because it has the full wraparound safety rail. It's got cleats up front, anchor, locker, anchor rope, chain, pop out cleats, tied off with all that good stuff. Lots of cup holders so your kids can bring a lot of kids. Storage, I like these hinge. All these seats are fixed or hinged, which is great for towing the boat down the road. We didn't get a trailer with it, but we do sell trailers, new or used. So once again, 390 hours, let's talk about what I think about this bad gal. What I really love about this boat is what you're getting for the money. It rides great, it's in beautiful shape. You can easily spend maybe four or five hundred dollars on inexpensive upgrades to really make it look a lot newer, even taking those graphics off putting a nice trailer underneath it, which would cost more than $500. But regardless, I think for the money, you get 350 mag, Bravo 3 trim tabs on a 230 crown line with such a deep V. It's like a no brainer from a resale standpoint, especially because I can show you in my books for the last five or six years, I've been selling a lot of this model for pretty much that same price. It's kind of hit its bottom at 20, as long as it's a freshwater boat like this. Well, my name is Brandon. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking down below. You'll just get an email anytime I upload a new boat video or any video and also if you come here and look for boats please ask for me my kids are starving and i need i need your money just models popping bottles hey!